Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kohalo Yahweh Bashim El Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone and salutation to the brothers that's watching, praying, and uh, waiting for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shah's sincerity and the truth. This is another episode of uh, the history and the law. We're going to the history and, uh, you know, going to the law. Um, the previous video that we did, we did, um, Numbers 30, the 31st chapter where the, uh, where the Musa gave Moses the command to smite the Midianites. All right, we're going to uh, go back into that real quick and uh, bring out um, the law of war in, in the history, I mean in the, in the book of uh, Deuteronomy. So um, back in Numbers uh, 31, Numbers 31, and uh, I'm going to start at 9. It says, And the children of Israel took all the women of the Midian. Midian ca captives and their little ones and took the spoil of all their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods and they burnt all their cities wherein they dwelt and all their goodly castles with fire and they took all the spoils all the spoil and all the prey both of men and of beasts and they brought the captives and the prey and the spoil unto Moses and Eleazar the priest, and unto the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the camp of the plains of Moab, which are by Jordan near Jericho. Now the Lord commanded uh, the Lord commanded the Israelites through Moses to smite the Midianites, because the Midianites were part of a conspiracy to take Israel down. And we're going to explore that in the coming chapter, and we're going to read. But um, here's the law of war in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter. Now it says, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's Deuteronomy, the 21st chapter. I'm going to start at Deuteronomy 21 and 10. It says, when thou goest forth to war against thy enemies, in this case, the Midianites were our enemies, and the Lord thy power have delivered them into thy hands, and thou hast taken them captive. And that's what happened during the time of Numbers, the 31st chapter. We went to war. And the Lord had commanded us to go to war, and we took them captive. It says, it says, and sees among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Then thou shalt bring her home to thy house, and she shall shave her head and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment, raiment of her captivity from off her and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month. And after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. And that's what happened during the time of, uh, the, uh, when we took down the Midianites, meaning you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we took down the Midianites, and we took their women captives, you know? And, uh, that that law was, was that law took place. We we did that, you know. We took care of that. Now there was a reason why our people, you know, our people. Um, the Lord gave the Lord gave the command to Moses for us to smite the Midianites, and we're, we're going to explore that in uh, I believe it's uh, Numbers the twenty fifth chapter. So we're going to go to Numbers the twenty fifth chapter. And it says, And Israel abode in Shedem, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifice of their gods. And the people did eat and bowed down, bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. So our people were going off, they were sacrificing to other gods, the gods of the other nations around them, you know? This is verse four. And the Lord said unto Moses, take all the heads of the people and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger, the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, slay ye everyone his men that were joined unto Baal Peor. And behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman, 
in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest saw it, he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. And those that died in the plague were 20 and 4,000. So 24,000 people died because the children of Israel wanted to worship the gods of the other nations. Because the, that, that kindled the anger of the Lord. And that was one of the commandments, thou shalt not put any other gods before me. Because that kindled the anger of the Lord. That's one of the reasons why we're in the situation we are in today, because we worship the other gods of the other nations. We're in verse 10 now. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Phinehas the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, have turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consume not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace, and he shall have it, and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his power, for his God, and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain was Zimra, the son of Salu, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. So this guy that was with the Midianitish woman, he got slew with the Midianitish woman. He was a Simeonite. Uh, based upon um, who wasn't supposed to worship any of those false gods. In Psalms 81 verse 9 it says, There shall no strange god be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange god or strange power. Yeah, in this case, the, the strange god was the god of the Moabite, uh, Baal Peor. You know, you got it. Bring it up. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 3. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed me, thy Lord, thy Lord, thy, the, the Lord, thy power, have destroyed them among you. Yeah, because they got home. Those, uh, Phineas, Phineas carried out the commandment of the Lord by having those men, well, Moses, you know, Moses had those men hung. They, they were put to death, man, to, to take away the plague of Israel, and 24,000 men died for worshiping the gods of the other nations in the ancient days. Yeah, keep on going, bro. Uh, but ye that did cleave unto the Lord the, your, your power uh, are alive, every one of you this day. Mm -hmm. that's it, bro. So, yep, yep, that's a beautiful scripture because it backs up what we're reading. It's all in the history. Uh, what, that was Moses speaking. Yeah, 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 that was Moses. That was Moses speaking. He's basically re re reiterating the story that we're reading right now. Um, uh, verse uh, fourteen of uh, Numbers twenty-five. It says, "Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince, a, a prince, a, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites." And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Korzba, the daughter of Zer. He was head over a people and of a chief house of, in Midian. <clears throat> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Vex the Midianites and smite them, for they vex you with their wiles, wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Korzba, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, which was slain in the day of the plague for Peor's sake. Uh, can somebody get Deuteronomy 20 and 13? I got it. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy 20, verse 13. And it says, And when the Lord thy power have delivered it into thy hands, 
thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword, with the woman and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof shalt thou take unto thyself. Uh, so basically, the reason why you gotta smite the male is because the male carries the seed of the other nation. So you smite them so that they should not rise no more and be able to overtake you or seek revenge, mm -hmm. you know? But the women, they don't carry the seed, so that's a stopping to their nation. But we got some Israelites out there, I'ma just name names, Captain Tazaria, where he said rape is not in the Bible, or it's not condoned and nowhere in the Bible, you know? And uh, Sakari, that sect, they said, no, they're not cool with the rape doctrine. Now, he, the brother read the, rape, the law on rape, you know, where, where you, you uh, let her mourn her family for yeah, a period yeah. of time, all right, so th that, well, first of all, the scripture said the Lord delivered them into the, to, to thine hands. So what do you mean he don't approve of that? Now, now the rape in this society is, is, is frowned upon. You're not supposed to do it that way, you know, because you're supposed to even take them to wife if you even have, a, 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 you do that to a woman, you know, especially if it's a vile nation, and, you know. And another thing, why would you have mercy on these other nations when they laid a snare, a stumbling block, that got 24,000 of your people killed, man. Come You don't take no mercy with the other nations. Yeah, you, you, it, that's why it's a such thing as love and hate. You have to have, you have, in order to know love, you have to know hate, man. Because how can you, it, it's no in between. You can't love them and then love us as, as well, man. You know, you can't love the, them nations and then love your people because of what they did to your people. You know, it got to be some sort of balance, you know. And it's, it's, it's always balanced to the scriptures. Can I finish reading this? Con, con. I'm going to start over again. It says, um, this is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 20 and 14. It says, but the women and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shall thou take unto thyself. And thou shalt eat the spoil of thy enemies, which the Lord thy power have given thee. Now these are our enemies. The Lord was against these other nations, man. We just carried out the judgment of the Lord upon these other nations. Because we're Israelites and the Lord was with us to do so. we we'll bring out what you got. Um, this is a Deuteronomy, the 21st chapter. And uh, the caption before the 10th verse is laws about captives, captive wives. So I'm going to start at uh, this Deuteronomy 21 and 10. When thou, when thou goest forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy power have delivered them into thy hands, and thou hast taken them cat captive, and seest among them, among among the captives, a beautiful woman, and and have a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. You know, it's, it was, it's saying that you see a woman, you know, they're already captive, they're already slaves, and you, you see a beautiful woman, and you, you I'm gonna read it again, this, uh, this is Deuteronomy, I'm gonna start at the 11, 21 and the 11th verse, and see us among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. You know, you're gonna have her, you know, just not, you're not gonna go over there and ask her, you know, you're gonna take, you're gonna basically you're gonna take her. You know, it's not, it's not, there's no questions. Oh, oh, you know, there's, there's, there's no, there's, it's, 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 it's my desire. You know, I, I, I want this, this good right it's here. It's a spoil of war. Yeah. That's what it is. Now, now we have mentioned, uh, we have read in uh, Deuteronomy, I mean uh, Numbers, the 25th chapter, about how the men that uh, worship Baal Peor, they got, uh, they got hung, and there's a law for that in the scriptures. And this is uh, Deuteronomy 21, verse 22. It says, And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be, and he be to... Shalak, I'm going to start it over. It says, And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is a curse of Yahweh. Mm. Yeah. That thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy power giveth thee for an inheritance. Mm. Exodus 23. Yeah, come. Mm. Yeah, because um they were the men that were hung for worshiping Baal Peor, 
They were men that were accursed from the Most High <laughs> because they chose to serve other gods. And then our Lord, if you serve other gods, that's a sin worthy unto death. Come. That's a quick tidbit. Hey, that's why you see Jake being hung, hung all around America. Well, it used to be. You see oh, that geez. because because we, that shows that we was that accursed people, man. Mm -hmm. If you look up new, uh, what they call it, lynchings, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a Jake face right there. You know, it's just just a quick tidbit that, that proves that you know we are the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, but can you get that one I was talking about? Yeah, this is Exodus twenty three and twenty two. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I. I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemies, and 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 adversary adversary unto thy adversaries. Huh. Like the brother said, they was enemies of the Most High too. The only time, like the only time that the, whole, the Heavenly Father was was not their enemies per se, was that when he was uh. Fighting against us, man. When we disobeyed his voice, serving them other gods, you know. So he let them be a terror to us, you know. But when we obey him, he's gonna be an enemy to them, cause his enemies is our enemies, man. <laughs> hey, and that's the time we coming into those times again, you know. Well, the scriptures say the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning, and uh, I got this last scripture. We're gonna end on this since we were talking about the hanging. And you had mentioned about the hanging. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Galatians uh, 3 verse 13 It says Yahweh Shah have redeemed us from the curse of the law Being made a curse for us For it is written Curse is every one that hangeth on a tree mm -hmm. You know That's it So with that This is another edition of uh, History and the Law um, We give all praise to Yahweh Bashim al Shah Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone Salutations to you brothers that pushing the word in sincerity and truth Shalom until the next episode. Shalom.